Tuesday, September 9th. All right, so let's have a look at our day's missions for today. Let's see. So talk to Robert in the forest. <laughs> That's all we have to do today. That's kind of good. <laughs> talk to Robert in the forest. That doesn't even sound like a savory thing to do. <laughs> this man that swings an axe for a living. Okay, and let's have a look at our map. I had Sneaky. such a good time recording episode eight. So. And I got news for her. She's probably going to sit in on the rest of the episode. <laughs> and I think we're probably, you know, getting to um, the last few episodes of this uh, particular series anyway. So the game should be wrapping up pretty soon. So also, we it. just wanted to let you guys know that we took a look at the controllers and unfortunately it cannot be reprogrammed for the, um, the uh, stick to be reversed. Yeah. So there will not be any further driving episodes for me. Yeah. <laughs> so she's going to be peanut gallery from there now on. There you go. She refuses. I said, do you want to play this Sorry, one? Guys. She said, nope. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I think uh, let's go up and start way at the top. What do you think? And then we'll get rid of all that stuff in town. Sure. And then we'll go down and see Robert. Well, it looks like you have a parcel and, and a letter both on Jackson Street. Oh, yeah. Well, this one is down. Uh, that's in the woods where that cabin was. Oh, okay. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, so let's, I'll take care of all this over here. Sorry, I was speaking away from the mic. Sounds good. All right, and we're banging heads here. <laughs> <laughs> he told me I need to get closer, so here I am. That's right. All right, we should go way up to the top and work our way down. Well, we might as well stop off at the Flick Shack. Yeah. See, there's a parcel here. It must be for the, uh, Angie. Yeah. Okay, well, she'll have to wait. Oh, you don't want to talk to her yet, huh? No. I don't want to look thirsty. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little one. Oh, I wonder what this is. <laughs> Might be a box of chocolates. Nope, door. Oh, yeah, the door. It fits in the mailbox. It does. Nobody's going to answer anyway. Nope, no answer. We're in the middle of a pandemic, Meredith. Nobody's going to answer the door. Well, at least she puts it down nice and she doesn't just throw it at the door. Yeah, our uh, FedEx, the woman that delivers um, our FedEx packages, there's 20 steps that lead up to our home and she just kind of throws it. Yeah, she walks up about halfway and tosses. Yeah. Not good. We're becoming professionals with this. There you go. All right, so now I guess it's unavoidable. We'll have to do a little backtracking. Ooh, ooh. Oh, there's oh, my first one. Classic. <laughs> Cha-ching! Somebody hasn't had his morning coffee yet! That's right. Oh, and to be fair, I am sitting rather sideways with the microphone in comparison to the monitor, so... Turn. Make my obligatory excuse. No, he should turn so he's facing the monitor. Didn't we just go here? No. Oh, it looks just like that other house that we dropped the package off at. No, they're copycats. Same house across the street. Mm. Yeah, got a lot of those post-World War II little cookie-cutter developments. <laughs> See if I could not hit the signpost there the lamp post i hadn't hit it you're not gonna knock it down no oh, you, you i'm not giving you the satisfaction <laughs> <laughs> that's what she's like she's like don't go ahead hit it hit it all right now you get to be thirsty that's right no we've already passed the shop she's probably saw us passing in the yeah. window <laughs> which is good well she's, don't pass again no I'm not i was you're saying you're gonna think you're avoiding her well that's right you know i mean don't worry baby i'll get to you i'll get to you I wonder if she got anything new I wonder if she got a gift for Meredith for the nice evening. I mean, they did kiss. I think that warrants a gift. Oh, hey you. Hi. Oh, all right. So I'm guessing you want to rent a movie, huh? <laughs> We've got a great selection. I don't really got anything romantic. Uh, what do I pick? You're picking. The bottom one. Actually, that's not what I'm here for at all. Wait, you're not telling me you're here for little old me. <laughs> so... What's on your mind, babe? I have a package for you. I think I'm not sure what to make of us. Oh, no, that's not going to help the story any. Well, should they just be friends? There's a, f a few different ending outcomes. Well, I'm going to play them all. Oh, so okay. we should pick something interesting. Well, well I like you, but I think we should to, just be friends now. She didn't say she wanted to be committed or anything. She just Well, know. just because you say you like somebody a lot doesn't mean that there's going to be a wedding. Well, I know, but she I'm also not... kind of likes the lumberjack guy. Well, too bad. She can play it. Okay. <laughs> Tell them both you like them a lot. I think I'm starting to like you a lot. And I'd like to ask you to be a little less awesome. It's distracting me. Really? Oh, boy. I don't think she's awesome. <laughs> no can do, Miss Weiss. Being awesome is my thing. Yeah. Would you ask Rocky to stop boxing? 
<laughs> Touche. Oh, she thinks she's all that. So anyway, what's on your mind? All right, Jen, what's on her mind? You You've... look a little distracted. You look a little distracted? Okay. Mm-hmm. You look a little distracted. <sighs> yeah, uh, I just... You ever get the feeling you're not where you need to be? Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, I know that feeling. I know it all too well. It's just that this whole Flick Shack adventure... I think it was the right idea at the wrong time. Yeah, and in the wrong place. Yeah. This is not the place for that. And in the wrong place? I think so. Yeah, I think I'm just too different for this town. Plus, business hasn't really been booming. Because you got a crappy yeah. selection of and movies. And here I was hoping our movie box project would turn things around. <laughs> it almost did. Don't think that it didn't help. That's what I mean with the wrong time. I'm sure video will be huge. But it isn't. Not yet. Not here, anyway. So you're leaving? Yeah. Yes, I am. Oh. Wow. I I didn't realize until just now that I'd already made my mind up. But I guess I have. I'm leaving. Gosh, it feels so liberating to say. I wonder if she's going to ask her if she can go back to the city with her when she goes. Mm, But I think it's kind of disheartening if you just profess your feelings for somebody and they say yeah well i'm closing the video store and i'm leaving so yeah bye babe <laughs> yeah but they only had one date yeah it's not I know, like they've been dating for months i know but meredith kind of lit the match there right she did like i said i think angie's a little bipolar anyway yeah which one jen uh well there it is i guess oh there it is how about you have you made your mind up yet uh, about your future i mean well, I did, but you screwed that up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Me? No, not yet. Me? No, not yet. Well, take your time. I want to give it my full attention when you do decide. And right now, I really have to start organizing the grand closing of the Flick Shack. We hardly knew ye. Maharia. I'll swing by later. Yeah, she wants to go with her. Or s- That's not good postal conduct. Hmm. Mr. Morgan will have something to say about that. That's right. All right, well, so long, sister. (laughs) And by the way, it's not the store, it's you. Because Blockbuster was a big hit in the 80s. I think, was Blockbuster around in the 80s? I think they were. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was at Blockbuster every week. Renting video games, movies. I worked at a video store. Oh, that's right, you did. Two of them, actually. Yep. Not Blockbuster, they were little mom and pop places. Somebody answer the door. Nope. No answer. They don't want us meeting any other townspeople. Yeah, I guess not. Well, she keeps getting involved with everybody. Yeah. She picked up a lumberjack. She's picking up a woman who runs a video store. She's busy Running lady. errands for the cat lady? I know it. Hmm. These look like bills. Oh, what's this on the side of the truck now? They put a tracker on us? Maybe you caused damage when you crashed it. Oh. Yeah, it looks like a... Tree. Oh, this is a package in the back there or something. It looks like one of the packages sticking out. I didn't oh, think okay. they were really back there. It's a glitch. <laughs> she didn't even bat an eyelash. Nope. Because she knew I wasn't driving. It's like the people that cross the street here in Las Vegas. They don't even look. That's why every time on the news, literally almost every day, you always hear about somebody getting run over. <laughs> That's because they go out after dark. They don't look both ways they jaywalk and they wear black yeah they wear black clothes (laughs) and they wonder why they get hit no not good i was gonna say we keep going down the same streets but that's what happens when you deliver the mail (laughs) in a small community i'll say this house is brown Mm -hmm. nothing to say all right meredith wasn't interesting enough i guess not I hear Otis screaming, our kitty. In case you didn't tune into the last episode, we had uh, one of our cats that decided that she wasn't happy with me sitting in here. <laughs> now the other one's starting. Oops. So you may or may not hear meowing in the background. Ooh, interesting. At this point, you think that the uh, game developers would have something else for her to say besides. Yeah, Bill's interesting. Yeah, yeah too it's heavy. A little stale. not as heavy as I thought. Another little one. Maybe some cassette tapes. Do we have CDs yet in the 80s? I don't remember. No, no we didn't have them in the 80s. Yeah. That's so, why the whole video store was filled with VHS yeah. tapes. So this is a, uh, a Walkman, a cassette playing Walkman. Should be candy. All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. Capital idea. 
Nice little SUV. I don't think they called them SUVs back then. They did not. No, what did we call them? Trucks. <laughs> or wagon. It was a wagon. <laughs> it's funny, once you know that there's no damage or anything, it's like, you almost feel it's pointless to look. <laughs> Stay in your lane. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I was in the middle of the road, I would have done better than you did. <laughs> hey! I sacrificed a lot of pride for you. <laughs> Stopping at the diner. Park in my usual spot, right next to Maureen. You want to take bets on whether or not she's going to offer us blueberry pie? <laughs> Doesn't matter what they offer, they never give it anyway. That's true. That's lighter than I thought. What do you think's in the box, Jen? I don't know. Oh, can't get through the door. Turn it around, Meredith. Hi, Kay. Package for you. I thought I might as well give it to you now instead of, you know, waiting till you're home. Oh, thanks. That's super amazing. Thank you. Super duper. Um, what is it? It's nothing illegal, right? <laughs> it's nothing illegal, right? Oh my god. I'm so excited about this. Yay! I see. This is a guessing game. All right. Is it a... a box of bunnies? A box of bunnies? No, but that would totally make the kids' day, though. Varies a lot less. Probably. Okay. All right, peanut gallery, do Why your job. Why does she keep asking if it's illegal or not? <laughs> Open it. The suspense is killing me. Open it. Okay, you ready? It's actually a Yamaha DX7 synthesizer. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, man, I am super stoked this arrived so soon. I got this amazing deal on it through the classifieds. This old guy was selling it. Apparently, he had never really used it. I mean, what? How? Can you imagine owning something like this and not using it every moment you get? I mean, this synth is used everywhere these days. So I was like, yes, this is mine. <laughs> Sorry, I can get carried away about this kind of stuff. Yeah, take... I wonder if her husband knows she bought that. That's probably why it was delivered to the diner instead. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. And look to see if there's an envelope with it. Maybe the Adam and Eve catalogs with it, too. Oh, <laughs> I know, you're doing that speeding up thing again. To be honest, you lost me around the time you opened the box. But if it works like a computer, sign me up. Computers, eh? Oh, wait, are you a programmer? Because if you are, you should totally check out the Insonic Mirage. Which one? Top one. <laughs> Stop, you're doing it again. Oh, man, you're right. Listen, Em, I totally owe you for lugging this around for me. Now, what will you have? It's on the house. Blueberry pie. I'd love some blueberry pie. Pie? I mean, I'd love some blueberry pie if you have it. Oh, I just sold the last slice. We're clean out. Anything else? Oh! Give me a break. It's not nice. Yeah. I owe you. This diner sucks. I owe you? I owe you it is. Apparently, I have some baking to get started on now. But good to see you. And thanks again. No problem. Have fun with your synthesizer. Yes, thanks. Okay, I'm just making sure that you don't have pie, because that would really piss me off. <laughs> How about you? What are you eating? Nobody's eating. You're just loitering. Yeah. What? And you're just drinking coffee. No, how do you keep... Oh, oh look who it is. Oh. It's the... Uh, what was her name? I forgot. Becky? Hey, Lori. Lori. Nice meeting you here. Oh, hi, Miss W. What are you playing there? Oh, this is just some arcade game. Ghost Blast. Oh, cool. <laughs> what is it about? Well, it's called Ghost Blasters, but I don't think you'd like it. Have you played it? Nah, too old. Let's say, let's see. No, I have not. We don't. We better not lie, right? Nope, I have not. So, can you explain it to me? There's all these different types of ghosts, right? And you have to use your weapons to take them down. You run around using the left joystick and shoot using the right joystick. Don't let the ghosts hit you, or you'll die. Make sure the joysticks are in the proper order, otherwise it'd be like Jen. <laughs> She'll be yelling at me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sounds easy. I doubt you'll say that once you've played it. It's really difficult. But you're looking at the current owner of the highest score in all of Providence Oaks. I've been playing since the moment the machine was put there. If you start playing now, you might be able to beat me. She's probably Eventually. the only one who plays it. Do you want to play? Step aside, dweeb. <laughs> she better get sure. back to her rounds, so. though. I hope this isn't a minigame. <laughs> oh, I think it is. Oh, no. <laughs> R to shoot. Oh. Yeah, left to move, R to shoot. A to use your spectral shockwave. What? What? Oh. Oh, now he's having trouble with the controller. No, R wasn't to shoot. You have to press the button down. 
Yeah, so How do you, you get out now? of this game? <laughs> You're on your last life, I think. Oh, good. It's a story of my life. It I keeps know. starting you over and over. I know. I don't know how to get out. Let's just die here. There we go. Well, better luck next time. That wasn't a bad start. That game sucks. I didn't want to make you feel bad, honey. That's the only reason why I did so bad. I didn't want you to. You're just a little kid. I don't want to, you know. You don't have to sugarcoat it. That was awful. I didn't want to say it. It was tragic. But the machine will always be here. You can keep trying until you get better. And I'll always be here trying to improve my high score. You want to try again? No. I have to get back to my rounds. Another time, okay? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay. Let me know if you get close to my high score. Teenagers. Yeah. I'm gonna close to my high score. Order something to eat, pal. Beep to the camper, people. We'll be back to murder you for your camper. All right, so take a left down this little secondary road here. We'll slow down to turn. Good job. Otherwise, <laughs> we'll be mail truck surfing. And is it that home? No. You gotta keep going. Wow. Going deep into the woods. That is making me feel unsecure. <laughs> oh, there's the mailbox. Yeah, but you gotta double the package. I know, I'm just saying. I see. I know I'm not crazy. Well, it doesn't look like anybody's living here. I am crazy. Wow. Yeah, this house is like. A little dumpy. Yeah. The Norman Boards Bates. On the window. Oh. He's Wait the with the a second. Really? I thought for sure that was going to Robert. That's. I did too. Guess not. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Why are we delivering a chainsaw to an abandoned house? That's, That's what I want to know. Yeah, this is creepy. And the door is open. Mm, this is like a murder house. How are we going to knock on the door? Oh, knock on the wall. All right. I'll leave it on the doorstep. Yeah, I would. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Drop the package. There you go. Uh, if somebody gets hacked up, it. it's going to be your fault for delivering the murder weapon. That's all I got to say. Right. That's a very odd delivery <laughs> in so many ways. <laughs> Maybe we should call the police first let them know where we are <laughs> maybe robert saw me and angie at the movies you know he might be a little mad why don't you meet me in the forest robert where'd you get the chainsaw from Careful. We'll go four-wheeling hey morgan's gonna fire us anyway so who cares <laughs> where are you robbie hello anybody out here i know i don't see him Hey, Meredith, I'm up here. Hey, Robert. I like how he says it after she's already seen him. Hey, I'm up here. <laughs> wow, that's really high. What? I can't hear you. That's what I say to my wife all the time. <laughs> I can't hear you. Until she says, are you hungry or you need any money? And it all comes through loud and clear. She's not going to climb up there. Should I come up as well? Sorry, I can't hear you. Maybe I should come down first. Yeah, come on down. I'm on now for you, Peyton. That chainsaw is awful bright and shiny. Yeah. Looks brand new. I know it. Can you hear me now? Hi, Meredith. Loud and clear. Over. Thanks for coming out here. This arborist job came up suddenly. Yikes. I'm glad there's people like you for that. It's great up there. I used to climb a lot. Still do, actually. But now I get paid for it, too. Anyways, I figure it would also be good for you to see where the apartments are planned. Ah, oh, okay. So, what now? Well, I want you to listen to my wild card plan. Tell me all about it. I've scheduled a recording session at a professional sound studio. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. Are we going to do a tree version of We Are the World? Yes, I can do Bruce. We are the world. We are the children. Stop it, Robert. Not good. <laughs> You're not impressing her. Uh, that needs some work, Robert. I'll be Cindy Lauper. Well, 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 let us oh. realize all that a change can only come. Oh, yes. <laughs> but no. Sorry. It'll be a radio message to get the people of Providence Oaks involved. No, oh, he's like, uh, yeah, no, sorry. Oh, you're such a party pooper. <laughs> Did, could you hear her through my headphones? Yes, I oh could. my gosh. Ah, uh, you're such a party pooper. Yep. I also work undercover for the fun police. It'll be this afternoon, by the way, at Jack Reynolds' bar. Are you in? I could use an extra set of ears. A professional sound studio, huh? She hasn't made plans for Saturday yet. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm in. Great. Meet me there after work. I gotta get back up in this tree now. Yeah, you do See that. See you later. Bye. 
Good luck up there. Thanks. We are the ones to make a brighter day. So let's start giving. So this is back to the post office. Ooh. <laughs> Saved by the transparent tree. <laughs> I guess I'll let that one slide. <laughs> oh, we got to remember there's deer out here. Speaking of deer, do you want to tell everybody the story about when you hit the deer? No. Okay. <laughs> no, I didn't hit the deer. He jumped into my car. Yes. It was not a good day. The police officer that came down had to put the deer out of its misery. So uh, she was quite devastated that day. I don't blame her. Yeah, I was driving down the road in an industrial park, and it was all wooded there. And he jumped out and hit the front of my car and uh, got thrown quite a ways. And yeah. then he... Uh, jumped up and went into the woods Oh. and uh, I called the police and you know, of course I was shaking and I wasn't sure how bad the damage was to my car so the police came by and said that they took care of it and then he asked me if I wanted to take it home and I said <laughs> no absolutely not so he said that they have people that will come by and take the deer for the meat yeah so you know it was good that he oops, <laughs> oops. <laughs> no it was good that it didn't die in vain but see, I'm I a good husband. Terrible. I was distracted with my driving because I was paying attention to what my wife had to say. That's right. <laughs> now, he does pay attention. He's good that way. Other than when he can't hear me. Yeah. I think his days in a rock band and listening to music too loud have uh, altered his hearing just a smidge. Just a little. And also, my wife, as darling as she is, there was this cheap piece of crap um, <laughs> listening device she saw on TV. You know, it was—I mean, it was like the—it was like a terrible battery-powered stethoscope. So, of course, for Christmas, some stocking stuffer. What did I get? I got that thing, and uh, just to be nice, I tried it out once, and it was absolutely horrendous. And it like whistled with feedback, and if you even bumped it on your clothing, you know, it would like send shockwaves through your skull. So I was just like, "This is going in the trash." <laughs> I thought it would be nice for him to listen to the TV because he listens to the the TV extremely loud. <laughs> Way louder than I prefer to listen to it. Yes. And well, ironically yeah. enough, when he puts his headphones on me for me to proof hear things that he does, I have to turn the volume way down because what is normal for him is not normal for me. <laughs> and this will all be jump cut it out anyway. So. <laughs> Goodbye, hurting someone. Goodbye, hurting someone.